What's cooking, Ange? Hey guys. So um, tonight I'm coming to you, even though it's super nice outside still, I'm kind of tired of grilling. Um, and my already grilled burgers earlier today. So I'm trying it, it, well, I'm trying something I've not done before. So this is a one sheet pan meal. Um, and so what I've done, and I'm kind of doing a little bit of prep in advance. So that way we're in the middle of watching the football game. And when the game is over or shortly before it's over, I should be able to pop everything in the oven and then we can eat when the game is done. So I've just got a big sheet pan here and I have um, zucchini, red onion, a little bit of uh, orange or bell pepper, but it's orange bell pepper, a little bit of mushrooms. Um, and all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold off because I'm not putting this in the oven for a little bit, but I've blended here some olive oil, oregano, basil, uh, smoked paprika, garlic salt, little cayenne pepper and fresh ground pepper. I'm just gonna drizzle this all over these vegetables and toss it up. And then I'm gonna take this andouille sausage that I found. Um, the recipe actually calls for like sweet Italian sausage that's raw, but in links. So I'm kind of modifying it because I prefer andouille sausage and this is already smoked. So I'll kind of play around with the temperature. Um, but all I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna cook the vegetables for a while. I'm gonna cut this into pieces, throw this on here. About 10 minutes before it's done, I'm gonna to toss in some kale that I will chop up and that's all gonna just cook together and roast together. And then we're gonna serve that over um, some yellow corn uh, polenta or grits. So that's gonna be our dinner tonight. So come back and you can, I guess we'll see what it looks like. Big win, Ange. <laughs> Go Hawks. Okay, so vegetables are done. Andouille sausage is done. Um, and I actually added, and I, so I didn't show you guys this, but I added the kale about maybe seven minutes left to go in the cooking time. Just kind of tossed everything together and let it cook. I've got polenta here. If you're not a fan of polenta, I think you could use just like maybe some jasmine rice. And I guess this will be mine because I know Nick's big on polenta, so, and I'm not, so. I'm just gonna throw these vegetables on. They do have a little bit of a kick given the cayenne pepper. Um, have to, we'll have to arm wrestle over the sausages and who gets what. So it was very, so just a quick thing. So it's super easy to make. You can do a little bit of prep in advance. You just have to make the, the uh, kind of olive oil seasoning that you throw over the top and then it just cooks in the oven. And to even make it easier for cleanup, you could have uh, lined the pan in foil. Then you don't have any pan to clean up other than the polenta. So very easy. I'll be checking out some more of these one pan recipes. So hope you guys like it.